So in this video, we're going to be looking at the Autofix D1 Intelligent Automotive Diagnostic Analyzer. So before we get into the vehicle, let's just have a quick look and see exactly what's in the box. So we take off this sleeve here and we are presented with a kind of briefcase style protective case. So if we open this up and we can see exactly what's in the box here. So this is a charger cable with a USB cable and plug. We have a USB to C USB adapter in the packet right there. This is the VCI, the vehicle connector. So this plugs into the 16 pin uh, diagnostic port of the vehicle. It also has a light on there as well. So you can see what you're doing. And this all hooks up to this Autofix D1 style tablet. Now you can see how slimline that is. Um, which I think is really, really good and fits in the hands really, really well. One touch of the on button, and then you can see now we now have uh, the screen all illuminated. Also in the box, we've got a quick start guide, which is a two page piece and also a packaging list as well. So let's get into the vehicle and let's see what this Autofix D1 diagnostic package can do. All right, so we have the 16 pin dongle plugged into the diagnostic port of this vehicle, as you can see by the blue light there, just in the bottom right hand corner. That blue light signifies that it is connected to the uh, the tablet device here. So what is the Autofix D1? Well, it's a multi-vehicle, multi-system, bi-directional coding, calibration, uh, regeneration, high-end package with which is packed full of features, um, service functions, and the ability to uh, diagnose and reset one morning lights and all of the systems within the vehicle. Uh, where to buy this tool? Well, the, what I'm going to say is I'm going to say put the, use the link in the description below this video because that will take you to a genuine product. Unfortunately, there are fakes and clones on the market and uh, they, they can damage your vehicle. They won't work as well as they should. Um, you'll generally see them for a lot, lot less money. That is because they just don't work well at all. Uh, but if you are interested in getting a, a genuine product, as I say, use the link in the description below. So how much is this tool at the time of making this video? It is £698. That was the best price we could find. Um, that price is subject to fluctuation. It can go up or down depending on the market, the exchange rates. There's a, there's a few different factors in that, but um, it, it just under 700 pounds as it stands right now. Uh, so how is this tool powered? Well, you can see it's quite a sleek design. There was, there's nowhere really to put any um, ports or anything like that. So it does have an internal battery. Um, you will need to charge the battery, but this one currently has about 90% on it, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner there. So it's a, it's a it's wireless tool basically, so you don't need to uh, be mucking around with any wires or anything like that. Uh, what manufacturers are covered? Well, if we go into the diagnostic section, uh, we can go to, you can either click on all at the top and it'll just show you a big list of everything. Uh, you can use your favorites, you can add to your favorites, or you can just go to the different regions here. So we've got USA, European, and Asian. So these are the uh, the American market vehicles that it will cover, or manufacturers that it will cover. So have a quick look at that there. Then we go to the European. You can see these ones here. And then we've got another page there, and then another page there. So we'll pause the video if you want to see these in greater detail. And the Asian market, again, we've got a page here, and also a page there. So those are the manufacturers covered uh, on the tool. Now what about the systems which are covered? Well, if we use the vehicle that we're in, for example, uh, we're going to click on BMW. What I will say about this tool is that it is an all system um, scan tool. So it'll cover every single system within your vehicle. Uh, so we're going to select, actually no, what we're going to do is we're going to go automatic selection. And this is a good little feature because it will automatically read the VIN number. So if you're not necessarily sure on the exact spec of the car that you're dealing with, uh, all you need to do is uh, find the VIN number and then it will automatically find the vehicle, find the exact spec of the vehicle, and then it will start allowing you to diagnose that specific vehicle. So it's found our vehicle here. I'm going to click yes to that. It's probably going to turn the ignition off in a second. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, depending on the vehicle. So it'll read all systems like the engines, the airbags, the ABS, transmission, uh, air conditioning, power steering, you know, your braking systems, everything within that vehicle that is uh, sort of electronically operated or has a sensor attached to it, this tool will allow you to connect. So um, 
those are the systems, so it covers all systems. Now, when you find a fault within one of these systems, what uh, what information does it give? And I'll show you that as well. So we go to diagnosis on this one. Um, in fact, what I'll do first of all is I'll show you the three different sections. So we've got the drive section. So these are like the, the, the systems in this particular vehicle that it will cover within the engine system. And then if we go to the chassis system, these are the systems it will diagnose within that system. And then if we go to the body, it covers a lot more systems within the body of the vehicle. You see, these vehicles now, with them being quite modern, they have so many different electronic systems attached to them. Um, so if we click on to body, well, what, what I'm going to see actually is you've got an airbag light showing right there. So that's an airbag light. And uh, I'll show you a fault code. So we're going to go to body, we're going to go to the crash safety system, and we're going to go to read fault codes. So we've got three fault codes here, it's got intermittent. That is because we've simulated this fault. We simply unclipped an airbag sensor or an airbag uh, connector underneath the driver's seat. Um, but it's good to show that though because it has come up with all of the right codes relating to that exact fault. So it, it knows exactly where the fault is and it's pinpointed it for you. It's giving you unique fault codes and it's giving you a description of the fault code as well. So that's good. If you wanted to escape and if you wanted to erase the fault codes, you can do that as well. So when I do it, it's saying uh, the data will be deleted. Do you wish to continue? So when I click yes here, just keep an eye on that airbag light. We should find that it turns off. There we go. Airbag light is gone. Codes have been erased successfully. But within each system or everything you do, you can do an active test. Like it's a, um, it tests the system, a calibrate, uh, sorry, a component test. Uh, you can get live data from the systems like your ABS. I'll come to that in a moment though. Um, so that is basically how you would get a fault uh, code and the information it will give when it comes to fault codes as well. So let's go back to the main screen and we're going to go to the special functions so or the service function. So we click on to service. These are the service functions and special functions that this tool actually covers. So you can see you can do a whole load of, there's another page to that, I'll come to that in a second. There's a whole load of information on here or uh, functionality. You can do oil service resets, electronic park and brake, TPMS, battery registration, ABS brake, bleed, DPF regeneration, uh, new keys, code the injectors, reset the steering angle sensor, calibrate the suspension, uh, code in things like windows, doors, roofs, uh, the, the seats. On some vehicles, I'm not going to say that this is a, an option for this vehicle because it's very hit and miss as to what cars it will do, but it will do uh, mileage correction on a few of these vehicles as well. So you can see that here, it will do that. But don't buy this vehicle if that is your intention. Uh, sorry, don't buy this tool if that is your intention because um, it's very hit and miss and you know we, we don't have any information to say it 100% works on a certain vehicle or not. Uh, coming on to the other page, you know, you've got uh, gear learning, clutch adaption, clutch, uh, clutch uh, reset, airbag resets, things like that, headlamp adaptions. So there's many, many different adaptions, coding, uh, regenerations, and calibrations that you can do on that particular menu itself. Uh, does it give live data? It does give live data. You know, you can get lots of different engine data. We mentioned earlier that you, you can, you can get, for every system in the vehicle, you should be able to get live data. So for example, um, this BMW here, I'll show you an example of live data. You can get DPF live data, you can get ABS live data, you can also get the graphing live data as well, so it's not just numerical. Uh, I'll show you that exactly what you can get. So we're just going to go into the engine again as an example. So we go diagnosis, just go to control unit, drive, engine. So you see here we got live data, diagnosis request. And there's lots of different sections here. You can select specific uh, information that you want to see. So you may only want to see the battery voltage and then you can choose whatever else you want see there's lots of information fuel pump information fans 
exhaust gas. So within certain parameters, um, exhaust gas before DPF, exhaust gas uh, filter status. So if I do like a lot of these, and then you can show selected. So it just shows you certain bits of information with regards to certain DPF sections and then you can do graphing images as well. So it differentiates between the different sections um, if you wanted to see certain bits of live data. So I think that is a really, really good option. Um, and it doesn't just do it for the engine, but it, you know, as I say, it'll do it for your ABS system. Um, if you want to see live data from your ABS sensors or whatever else you want to you want to see or find. Uh, so that is a really, really good option. Uh, what about updates for the tool? How much are the updates? Well, you'll get free updates for the first year. That's the first 12 months. After that, I'm still trying to find out how much the updates are uh, after that for a year. I haven't been able to obtain that information, but what I hope to do is I hope to be able to put a, a, a message in the description below this video and you will see, should see how uh, much it costs to update. When it comes to updates, obviously you get the first year free. So it's just a case of clicking on update and it will allow you to uh, do all of the updates on that. This will basically go through, find out what, what needs to be updated, but obviously you do need a valid internet connection. So it's very easy to do. Um, and it'll go through it all for you. All right, so um, where can you get help and support for this tool? Again, I would say if you go through the support app, what you can do is you can log complaints, you can go do data logging when they ask you to connect to a vehicle and it'll record from your screen or whatever. Um, but that is how you would get help and support if you've got a problem with the kit. Click on a new complaint and you go through the process of uh, getting help and support for that particular problem. Uh, can it print faults? Yes, it can print faults off. It can email the faults to your email address or a customer's email address and it gives them a basically a good rundown of exactly what the problem is. Um, what about uh, languages? I believe I should get languages somewhere. Um, language, okay, how do I come out of this? What was I doing? There. Settings, language. Oh. Well, I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to do anything. I just want to come out. Yes. There we go. Will it let us in now? Let languages. Yeah, so we've got a lot of different languages that you can um, connect up to. Um, box instructions, well we saw what was in the box earlier in the video. Uh, would I recommend this tool to anybody who has uh, little or no experience? I would say 100% yes. It's very easy to use, very easy to pick up on how to use the tool. You can't do any damage to your vehicle, but you can pick things up as you go along. It's a good resource learning tool. Uh, it does have some help uh, DIY sections on as well in the support tab. Um, if we go to training, it will give you eventually go through to training uh, aids and methods. Um, other, other menus, other icons, we've got quick links, maxi tools, we've got remote desktop utilities, so this is the you know your other basic functions that you would get on a tablet, you've got calculators, cameras, uh, emails, etc, your browser, you can use your Google Chrome to go through and just serve the internet. So that that shows that it does actually double up as a tablet as well. It's not just primarily a diagnostic tool, which some of these uh, packages are. It can also, it can be, you know, it could be dying for, diagnosing faults through the day or, it could, and it could be, you know, you could, your kids could be playing games on it by nighttime because you can download new apps onto it and things like that. Um, how fast is delivery? Delivery one or two days generally, depending on where you are and where you're sort of getting it from. Uh, but you can expect quick delivery on this too as well. So um, overall, the Autofix, I am super, super impressed with it because it's such a sleek tool to hold. Um, some of the other tablets that we've tested, you know, they are big and bulky and um, you know, they, but this does also have a rugged feel to it so if you drop this you know you're not gonna have any problem it's gonna be okay unless you obviously hit it on the screen with a point but 
um, that's this, that goes for any tablet whether it's a you know a big and bulky one or whether it's a slim line one like this um, but overall though I absolutely love this tool this is probably going to be my new go-to tool um, because it's so sleek and handy you can just keep it in the glove box of the vehicle at all times you don't need to carry around a big case with a big bulky um, set of wires or anything like that but as I say if you are interested in this tool use the link in the description below this video because that is where you will get the genuine product remember fakes and clones do exist so it is wise to go for the genuine product you will thank yourself uh, later after you've bought the tool because you'll you'll be stuck in a situation whereby you're trying to diagnose a fault and it just doesn't work <laughs> so I, I would say it is aimed at sort of um, like garages workshops who have sort of more than one vehicle or, or you know people who have they don't necessarily know what car they're going to get in on a day-to-day -day basis so that's who I would say this tool is aimed at but it's it's, it's very impressed I'm very impressed with it it's impressed me immensely and um, yeah I hope this has helped you or given you a better idea about what to expect from the autofix d1 thanks for watching and I'll see you next time